Tonight, another local school is investigating a threat. It happened at the New Orleans Military and Maritime Academy in Federal City. Officials there sent a letter home to parents about threatening notes reported in bathrooms at the school last week. Officials at NOMA say they recently conducted a lockdown drill with New Orleans police and said in the letter they will continue regular school operations this week as they investigate. And Danny Monteverdi is here with a look at what consequences students could face if they're responsible. That's right, Kristen. Penalties can vary, and while students might think they're just kidding around with the threat, authorities, they don't view them as a laughing matter. Dozens of threats came into South Louisiana schools after the recent massacre at Stoneman Douglas High School in Florida. Students accused of making threats everywhere from the North Shore to the South Shore have been booked with terrorizing. The latest threat was made here at New Orleans Military and Maritime Academy in Algiers. An email to parents obtained by Eyewitness News says that someone wrote a threat on a bathroom stall claiming that something would happen here this week. That's led authorities to launch an investigation and place additional security on campus. State law calls for stiff penalties for anyone convicted of terrorizing. The crime of terror, terrorizing is a very serious felony under Louisiana law, punishable by up to 15 years in jail. Loyola University and law professor Dane Cialino says that unlike some crimes, juveniles in the state can't be charged as an adult if arrested on suspicion of terrorizing. They probably wouldn't face a so-called juvenile life sentence, that is, time behind bars until 21 if convicted. And while a prison sentence is generally handed down to only the most violent young people, it could result in the juvenile's uh, commitment to the Department of Safety and Corrections for a jail time uh, period. Lafouche Parish Sheriff Craig Weber recently told Eyewitness News the increase in reported threats is expected after a shooting like the one in Florida. People are now hypersensitive about reporting things that they hear or that they perceive um, less than it is about a copycat situation. Slidell Police Chief Randy Fandel added that doesn't mean law enforcement treats them any seriously. lighter. Got to take them all seriously, and we follow up on all of them. As for New Orleans Military and Maritime Academy, school leaders say they'll be extra cautious in the coming days. The note to parents explains that the school has, quote, arranged for increased police presence on site at NOMA next week and will implement enhanced security procedures. Kristen? All right, Danny, thank you.